Hello, today I'm bringing you a PC gaming build for £450. And in this video, I'm going to show you why this is better than the Xbox One and why you're going to get better out of this and better price and better reliability out of it. Okay, this build is £450, and here I'm going to, here we go. The case is called the Caller Master Elite 120 Advanced Mini RTX case. It supports four size VGA. And it doesn't include a PC, which is good. And it, look at the price, and you'll be amazed at what the price is, and how small it is, and what it acquires. Here we go. What's inside is we've got the PSU at the top. And I'm gonna go in, and then we have three fans. There's one, two, and one there's back to three. I know this because I've got this case, and I'll be talking about that later on. Then we've got a hard drive cage here. Then we have the I/O shield and ports. Then we have the motherboard in there with the processor. Okay, this case will be good for your build and it will provide a good gaming experience for you. Okay, next part is the motherboard. The motherboard is called Asus P8H61 H61 chipset, socket 1155 Mini ITX. This supports two dual channel DDR3 memory slots. It's got a PCIe graphics for your graphics card and it's got the processor which is the best part and the most needed part basically then you have the port here I'm going to show you the back here now okay these are the back ports here you have the VGA DVI USB 3.0 USB Ethernet audio HD jacks and HDMI this will provide a good enough amount of ports for your gaming and it should be enough for what you need so let's go to the next part shall we the next part is the processor it's the Intel i3-2120 Sandy Bridge dual core processor, socket 1155. This this processor is clocked in at 3.3 gigahertz and it has 3 megabyte cache. This processor is really good and it provides a good gaming with for the price and the brand Intel. The reason why I chose, it chose Intel rather than AMD with this build because if you want to go with AMD, you're going to have to go with more with the power supply because AMD use more power. And that is really, really downside of AMD because even though it has good clock speeds, yeah, it uses a lot of power and the stock fan is really noisy and that's spend more money to get a new stock fan. Let's not go into that, okay? So I chose this i3 processor for the build and it provides it will do the job for you if you're going to spend for 450 on this build okay next part is the ram it's corsair memory red 8 gigabyte ddr3 1600 megahertz a dual channel this ram is plenty for gaming and all gamers have 8 gigabyte and that's the most most popular ram 8 gigabyte it is good enough speed 1600 megahertz and it is a nice install with these little slots allow you to put your hands in without causing electrical current to make the part break so they're easy to install good amount of ram and there we go let's go on to the next part here we have the hard drive this part doesn't matter as long as it's one terabyte and it is same make as the not make as same model seagate one terabyte this is just an example this hard drive is one terabyte and it provide a good amount of space for your files you don't need any more than one terabyte unless you're going to do more stuff with it you can go less if you want if you think you're not going to use it all if you're going for a high budget say like for 550 you might as well get an ssd for about 60 quid and then you can put windows on the ssd which means your boot up times will be faster but let's not let's not go into that because i've chosen this build for today and I'm not going to explain any other builds except for this 451. Okay, this is just a hard drive. As long as it's one terabyte, you're fine. Okay, let's go to the next part. I'm not just blabber on about that bit. Okay, next part is the PSU. This is the Corsair UK Builder Series 500 watt power supply. Okay, this power supply is going to do the job for you. It is a 500 watt, so you, you mean you've got plenty of power because you're not using too much power in this build. As long as, it, as it's Corsair and it is 80 plus certified bronze. If you don't know what that means, 80 plus certified bronze is means when it's on full load, it'll give 80% efficiency, means it's 80 plus 
80 plus so it's even efficient and really good when you un under load when you uh, gaming if you choose a low really low priced power supply and it's like 30 quid for a 750 watt power supply you get you're thinking oh my god it's a, it's a really really good deal think about it it hasn't got 80 plus certified it hasn't got any stuff like that on it it says just a cheap model so think about it. you're not going to get much power when it's on loan it's going to be more likely to break and corsair is the best brand for power supplies as long as you stick with corsair you're doing all right okay next part is the most important part is the graphics card the graphics card as you can see, it's the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 650 Ti, overclocked at 16, no, 1030 1, megahertz. The cores is 768. It's GDDR5. This is a good graphics card, as I have it myself, and it's one gigabyte, and it does the job for the gaming. It comes with this as well, 19 game currency for these three games. So it's really, really good. This graphics card is really, really efficient and quite small for its price it's a hundred pounds the most expensive part in the build and you're going to get your the most out of this card while while it's in your case at this point i haven't told you about this i have this these these components and i haven't told you just to surprise you at this moment in time i have the color master i have all these and I've been playing with it the last couple of months or so because I made this build about three months ago because I've got two computers. Okay, this build is basically really good for the price and it's really small. It could be a good LAN uh, computer, taking it to other people's houses, taking it to other events, taking it not on holiday, but you can move it across to other countries easier. Yeah, it's basically a good PC for your price, and it's better than the Xbox One because I have no way I haven't even got the Xbox One. I have a 360, and it still does better than that. Of course, it does better than 360. It's been out for ages. Well, basically, this gaming build will do so much for you if you realise what you, so much you can do with gaming on computers rather than on Xbox One. It's just the same thing every every year with the Xboxes. Games for first person shooter games, FIFA, and all that. It doesn't bring anything new to it. Gaming com with computers, it brings so much into it. You can do YouTube, you can stream, you can watch videos, you can do your music, you can do everything on the Xbox One, on this computer, and more. So, if you've got this far into the video and you're looking for a £450 computer, small computer for your room well here you go watch this video if you're already watching it though but, okay final part which doesn't really matter about is the dvd drive this dvd drive it writes your cds and reads them so it'll download windows for you easily so it's 12 pound you basically get what you pay for it doesn't really matter uh, as long as it will read your dvd so you can install windows and or install your games okay guys thanks for watching today Hopefully, I've chosen the best option for your £450 build. And I've, I have explained to you why this build is better than the Xbox One. And you're getting better for the price. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot for watching today. And I'll see you later. And I'll see you on the next videos. And goodbye.